This poem was called Poison. Being a troubled youth, I'm often tempted by things that could kill me. So when I first saw this new drug, it caught my eye like a moon brighter than the sun. I was hesitant at first because I knew this drug was different, but it drew me in like a strike of lightning whose brightness was the only source of hope I saw flash in this wretched storm. Every time I caught a glimpse of it, my mind would race at the beautiful sight. This drug would speak to me like my favorite poem stuck on repeat and I couldn't tear my ears away for it would also sing my name. I knew I was hooked when I first felt its warmth jump from vein to vein and as it traveled through my limbs to my cold hands and my shaky fingertips and when it covered my anxiety and masked my depression and when it wrapped its claws around my vulnerable heart, I knew every ounce of me was addicted. I was frightened but this drug had me convinced that with it in my heart, I was unbreakable. But I felt a fool when I began to rely on it when I wasn't always there. And I saw the effects it was starting to have on the ones I loved. They wanted me to run and to escape, but now its grip is resilient and I feel the storm falling upon me again as I lie here bleeding. I'm bleeding out fast and I'm screaming. I'm screaming out help but they're leaving. I'm left alone to drown myself with this poison. I find my inability to breathe rather soothing because I'd rather die than let everyone watch me waste away. Even through my self-destructive habits and my suicidal tendencies, this drug has been there for me, so I can't bring myself to let it go. So as I lie here sobbing, I grasp it with my hands and wish for the day when I have the strength to say goodbye. Before I go, I have one last thing to say. This drug, this drug is you.